we worked on this today to put together a list of grants that you could look into. Some of them are very exciting. And I'm thinking, you know, a couple of nonprofit organizations that we have in mind, they could apply for that too. So let's just dive in and see what we have, okay? Um, allow me to bring up um, the PowerPoint that would guide me. At the same time, I want to share screen with you so you can watch on which website I go. So we are going to cover like four different areas, but the biggest one is the first one that we want to do is a national grant, which means it doesn't matter which state you are in and you can apply. So there are a number of those. And we have done this almost, I want to say eight months ago. And we received a really, really uh, strong uh, listening ship related to that uh, particular webinar. A lot of people are watching. And this one, we're doing it similarly and just updated. And after the national one, we talk about uh, three states because those are the states we have branches in. So we like to cover them. One is uh, Iowa, then we go to Minnesota, and then we go to California. And you're probably wondering, oh, really? Oh, we didn't know you have a California branch. It's coming. And it is going to be at uh, Capitola, Santa Cruz area in California. So we care about what's going on there and we are bringing you uh, those knowledge related to California state. Now let's go to our national, national and the multi-state funding opportunities. So those are uh, not state specific and it's really a national initiative. The first one I want to lead you to, it is this Visa Everywhere Initiative 2021 global application. Literally global because they have the, um, uh, the United States filing uh, the application deadline is May 14, so not too far from today. And it provides premier global platform to demonstrate your groundbreaking solutions for startups and the tech solutions. So-called premier global platform is because of the social outreach. This website, usa.visa.com, they are a huge platform and a very well known. So you imagine you get funded for your startup idea and you are naturally going to be known. And a lot of people who wants to invest in your initiative probably will know that too. So this is where it, it is. You apply for that application. You actually give yourself an opportunity beyond you can imagine. And I really would encourage the people who work on the startups and the tech solutions. You know, these are your genius when you have ideas that you want to develop and put an application, okay? It is not new. It is already at least five years. So there's 7,000 startups already got funded. And after they got funded here, there's investor coming to them. So they have so much more money they can raise to develop that business. And there's a four level of winning and the 50K being the highest and the smallest is 10,000. So this is where, this is the website I'm showing you. And you can, you know, go to apply now. And you can also look at these award pictures, you know, right here. And you can see how they got, this one we see the first. This one was 50,000. Then you got 25,000. And uh, then you have this 25,000. There's also I remember seeing the 10, oh, this is 100,000. So there is a lot more you can look into on this website. So this is our number one pick for you. Number two. Number two, it is about, it is a, uh, it is a word, it is a grant. It's actually called Amber Grants for Women. And I know you are looking at a women's net. This is the website, okay? And the supporting women entrepreneurs is the core value for this 
uh, for this organization, they give away 10,000 every month in Amber Grants. Each of those monthly winner will have a chance to win the annual award, which is 25,000. So the, the person who got, who got the monthly award and also annual one would get 35,000 in total. And the only requirement is that you will be registering, becoming their, paying a fee. I don't think is a is a is a membership thing, and so you want to. There's a fifteen dollar fees that you need to pay, and in order to apply. So how how do I apply? If you click here, they will tell you that there's a fifteen dollar application fee. All right. So our third one. It is what we have talked about this one before. This is Kayla Brown Venture Capital LLC. This is a venture capital company, which means that they're the company with the venture capitals. They actually invest in, they actually loan the money to the businesses and they get you started. So that's why they call them venture capital. And it's a capital injection that outside of the banking um world they are a company doing that uh, on their own so they have this grant that you can apply and they give away ten thousand um i'm sorry i'm reading the embers here uh for this kayla brown they give you a one thousand uh, dollar gift of cash so you got one thousand but at the same time they give you a 500 hours of complimentary business consultation from their company. And that's actually very valuable. When you are in business, a lot of time we see the new uh, startups, they actually come into our firm and they want to sit with me and go, oh, Ying, I want to start up a business. What do you think about that? So of course, in our firm, we work with so many clients for so many years and uh, decades so we knew uh, what we can tell you based on our set of experience. Experience is always going to be experience. There's nothing really set in stone saying that what Ying says is absolutely true. That's not true. And I go by my experience, right? But if you can imagine that these people who are doing capital injection, venture capital um, you know, distribution to the startup, they probably have a set of rules and you know set of uh, um, a set of uh, criterias to measure business. And imagine if you have idea and you go to them, have them vet you through, and that's one way of learning. Even if they said no, so I say that you want to look into the Caleb Caleb Brown Venture Capital LLC. And they are actually have been accepting um, applications since last time we were talking about this. So they have been here for a long while. The number, the next one, number four one is a $4,000 business grant. Okay. So they call that to help your business to grow. Um, this is the one that um, done by National Association for Self-Employed. It is NASE in short. That's what they call themselves, NASE, Growth Grants. So you can apply for business development uh, from this organization for $4,000. It is designed to help to address a specific business needs. Growth Grants application must be a member in good standing. So and then they ask you to be a three, at least three months member. So here is the member information uh, on the website here. Um, you see, uh, we can see how the member charges in, in their organization. There's an annual membership, 120 monthly $11.95. So they want you to be at least in good standing for three months before they consider you for this growth, um, the growth grant. So this is a, this is the one that last time we did not have. So it is coming up just um, now and it wasn't there before. 
this is uh this is immigrant immigrant entrepreneurs summit and it is an annual event that happens uh, here in Iowa and but it's a national event so in here if you go down to a ward there is a one called underwriting exposed okay and I'm right here in underwriting exposed you can apply so what it says that you can apply to become a contestant to win 5,000. So you apply for your business idea, as long as you haven't really made $10,000 in sales yet, we, wanted, we want to make sure to see you be, be, a new, be a new immigrant business owner, right? So here is say, are you first generation immigrant business owner with less than 10,000 in sales during the past 12 months? If your answer is yes, you can apply. When you apply, there are three people will be um, on stage pitching for their idea. Then the judge will give the 5,000 to one of the three owners, uh, winners. So this is the next one happens on November 20th, 2021. And the application due date is September 25th, 2021. So this is another one. This is the one that I can tell you actually happens right in front of my eyes because I attend this event every year. And this is a nonprofit organization and we, uh, we are very familiar with IES and I want to make sure that I bring this to your attention so you know to apply. Then the next one is also, it is a small business builder um, provided grants. This grant, uh, this grant is actually designed to combat COVID-19 crisis. So you want, they want to provide you um, with $10,000 and for things that you want to do and for COVID purposes. And it's emphasized on companies that are pivoting their business in response to the pandemic are operated by historically underrepresented groups and are providing important community services. So looks like they want to make sure that you are pivoting from your existing business. For example, and I'm thinking, you know, small, for example, small um, Hispanic restaurant, taco shop, right? And instead of you pivot from the COVID, then you probably need a computerized menu uh, order ordering system. And so those are the things you can think of COVID cost you to uh, do certain things, then that would be a grant you apply because as long as you're in business, then the community will be served. Otherwise they won't have the very needed little taco place that they always can buy food from, right? So this is one that we want to make sure you, you know to look into. It's called KKR Small Business Builder Grants, 10,000. And to be eligible, a business must have between five to 50 employees and less than 7 million US dollar in annual revenue and a demonstrated need for support and a strong plan for moving forward and a being good standing with IRS or local regulatory body. That just tells you that they're probably gonna check on your IRS tax filing, making sure you don't, you, you're not skipping filing taxes. The program will end on June 2nd, 2021. So make sure you, uh, you look into this, all right, see? This is where this website eligibility focus on impact and apply for grant. It is right here, folks. And I hope you can see it really well here. The next one, the next one is also a national one. This is a new one. This is called Stacy's Rice Project and you can apply. So let me give you more details about this project. So Stacy Rice Project, the program dedicated to helping women grow their business through funding, mentorship, and community. 
and eligible business small business selected as a Stacy Rice project finalist will receive ten thousand and mentorship, ten thousand cash and mentorship. Application closed on July 9, twenty twenty one. And eligible small business must be number one, have uh, have between twenty five thousand and no no more than one million in annual sales. So your annual sales need to be under one million. Participate in virtual mentorship program. You've got to know how to use um, Zoom, you know Zoom or you know like this webinars. Yeah, I'm sure you know you're a year, and not to. Uh, not be part of the accelerator program at the time of entry. So they also have other accelerate, accelerator program and not to be part of that team. So you would qualify, right? This is a good one. And this is new. And my next one, my next one is called, it is called Black Founder Startup Grant. Okay, so they have a couple of slogans here and it says black entrepreneurs matter and the black women entrepreneurs receive less than 0.5% of venture capital funding. We are standing up to help change that. So the mission is clear and you can tell what they are doing, what, what they want to fund. Providing several 10,000 and a 5,000 cash grant to black women or non-binary entrepreneurs. So if you belong to this community and you have this opportunity, rolling application, which means that they, they just, you just go ahead, apply, there's no real deadlines and you'll be, um, you'll be considered. Um, so the, the, award, uh, the award recipients well, not only going to receive the money, they also will be receiving tactical help, navigating fundraising environment, and a lifetime ask me anything access to, um, to this foundation called SoGill Foundation. And SoGill Venture Team, it is also, um, uh, it's also an entity and together with Sogil Foundation, the foundation is the one that providing the funds. And of course, the venture team is the one that will bring you the mentorship. So this is, um, this is our Black Founders uh, Startup Grants. And there is another one at the national level we'd like you to see. And that is what we call GoFundMe Small Business Relief Initiative. So what happened is uh, a lot of people know that you can go to GoFundMe, set up a, a account, and then uh, people can fund you through that account when if your call is uh, attracting attentions, right? People know you're there and they want to help you. So this is the website, GoFundMe. And right here, if you start a GoFundMe, me as a small business, and what happened is they give you a match fund. So it says that if small business raise 500 on GoFundMe and meet the eligibility criteria, and the GoFundMe, this organization will give you another $500 match. So it is a $500 grant, but you know, basically you fundraise more than 500, they give you 500. Um, so the, the requirement for the business is that has been, the business must be negatively impacted by government mandate, for example, shut down and doing COVID and it must be independently owned and operated, okay? And uh, also, must be um, the money, the $500 and the funding that you raised online must be used for care for employees and the paying ongoing business expenses. And so this is one um, pretty unique way to get additional money, right? So that is that. This is our um, second last 
of the national level funding. So let's look at the last one I have for you, which is called, this is the one that if you have watched our webinars before, you will see this one too, Comcast Rise. And this is the one that has been here. It is also a, um, uh, the, it is also application has been open for a while, but the last deadline for small business application, uh, it is actually going to be today. Hmm. Uh, Catherine, can you quickly check because I see that is today. So maybe we don't have that open anymore. Is that right? It, that's right. It's not open anymore, but they it's kind of a rolling application. So they'll choose additional recipients quarterly. Mm, okay, so you hear the experts saying that um, this is chosen. Uh, this is chosen on a quarterly basis. So if if they close for this round and you is a rolling application, so you can apply and you still can get it. So that's uh, that kind of concludes the national level multi-state application, which means it doesn't matter where you're listening this from, and those are. Uh, all available to you. So I just want to run it quickly uh, with you one more time. So remember that was the, this, the first one was the visa.com uh, one, and they have the platform called the 2021 Global Initiative, and uh, you know they fund. And then you have the Amber Award for Women. And uh, you know this one, you need to pay $15. So in order to be considered and Kayla Brown, it is a venture capital company and they want to give you $1,000 money and also mentorship. And then you have this National Association of Self-Employed and they have membership, but if you are their member for three months, you, have, you can apply for their grants. And so they also offer grants um, for people. And I suddenly forgot, how much were they offering? Let me see, $4,000. And we have Immigrant Entrepreneurs Summit under award, underwriting exposed. And you know, the name comes from the reality that when you go to look for funding from the, the bank, they always saying that, oh, I don't know what happened. The underwriter denied your application. So you, you think you hear this underwriter as if they're monsters because they just don't want to fund you money. But actually, underwriters are people with certain guidelines. So in this particular IES event, what they do is they make the underwriter speak to you. They are actually telling you that why the underwriting underwriter is making such and such decision. Why out of you three contestants, they want one to be the winner, not the other two. They give you the reason. It's a really good way to learn um, when you go to the bank to apply for money and why they deny you, why they don't deny you. You know the bank, the the bank, the bank person who work with you on the loan. The person will not know exactly how underwriting approves you because that just that's how they do business. They cannot be telling you that what we're looking for. Then everybody gonna make up their document, right? So they don't want people to know what underwriter is looking at. They just want the banker to collect information, submit it to another city, another state, and then they make decisions removed from who you are. You might have a good relationship with the banker, but doesn't mean you can get funded. So that's just, that just kind of the business part of it, right? But this one, not only you're gonna get $5,000, you're also gonna learn how the underwriter works. So of course, this small business builder one is really interesting one, should look into to apply on this one. This is 10,000. Then Stacy Rice Project, it's another 10,000. And then here we have Sogel, and this is uh, really for uh, black women um, to, um, to advance. And then you have this small business relief initiative started with GoFundMe and they match your $500 and the Comcast, although this round closed, but you can still apply. All right, so with that, let's go to the state. So the first state I want to cover is Iowa. You know, Iowa is, is home for me. So I actually um, 
familiar with all of these organizations that are putting together these, uh, these grants. So here, the first one I want to uh, mention to you is this CDBG uh, program. It has a lot of funds that you can apply and it just depends on your business emphasize. You can look into that. It's community development block grant. Okay, so that's one. It is operated by Iowa Economic Development Authority. It is the state agency. However, it's a really good place. And their website, I like their website. And it, among all the other states, I like Iowa's Economic Development uh, Authority's website the most because they even use bigger font. Like those fonts you see here, they even using bigger fonts. So they really meant to be easy to be spotted and you can tell what they have. So it, it's a good website and I hope you use it, okay? And Des Moines. Des Moines has several worth mentioning. And this is a new ladder up grant, okay? This is for social equity. Social equity, um, Equity is a hard word to, to really master. You know, in, one of, in my first, in my eight o'clock book I, I wrote, I talk about how equity is so foreign because, you know, uh, I was born in the communist country and China. Back then, they are really communist country. So equity doesn't mean anything in human words. There is no such a word. We would even know what equity is. Equity means self owning the, the 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 ownership the wealth that belongs to a entity or a person but in communist world of course nothing belongs to anybody so equity work doesn't exist that's why it's so difficult for me to even try to translate that from english to chinese or wanting to reference anything in chinese to english it was impossible so here what they're saying is that in society there's pocket of people are kind of in poverty. They, the pocket of people, they look like each other, but they are a group of people who are more, um, they're, they're more uh, in social hardship than the other group of people. And so with that, what Des Moines does is that they come up with this letter up program and to help with the disadvantaged group people and to level up and to give you grants and have you work on things. So, you know, I, I just like this program a lot and looks like it is uh, mainly for nonprofit organization and who are uh, helping to, um, to, demonstrate, to demonstrate assistance to helping community to, to rise at the same time and uh, giving um, less advantaged uh, individuals or small businesses uh, some assistance. So uh, this is the one, folks. That lunch date is April 26th, so it's already here. The deadline is May 30th. So tell me a reason why you don't apply. I'd like to know that, okay? And if you're in Des Moines and if, you, if you're in Iowa, you should. And here is the outdoor seating exceptions. This is a more of a city convenience offered to the restaurant. So not necessarily funding, but the, the, the convenience, the, the approval of you to do that. So take advantage of that. Same thing, delivery and the takeout assistance. It is again, the city's help for those companies and who, for those restaurants who need some help. See, there's a dollar amount tied to it. Okay, 7,500. So with that, that is so far the Iowa. So Iowa has four in total we gathered. Now let's look at the state of Minnesota. And the state of Minnesota, and this is a foundation that I want to put in front of you because there's grant opportunities coming up from here a lot. And so, you know, I can just kind of give you a glance of things and you have the pain, the town grant, early uh, literacy grants. So don't forget this num uh, don't forget this foundation. Make sure you come over here looking for grants. And then there is the investors for this is a Minnesota state government uh, handled website, which gives you some connections to money. Not so much of I give you money for free, but a list of people or company that are willing to invest willing to do capital investment. They even tell you how much 
the investment they do. So for example, there is Adland Ventures and this is the website. And uh, then they, they, they invest 25,000. They may be money that you need to pay them back with interest, but you know, at least if you really have some good idea, here is the cash. You can look for that. This is for Minnesota. Then Minnesota uh, feed. Uh, employment and economic development, they also have the um, emerging entrepreneur loan program. So this is for, uh, this is a loan program to support the growth of business and operated in Minnesota. So look into that. And um, at times there are grants here too. So make sure that this is a website that you also look into if you are a business or individual lives in Minnesota. The other ones, so Minnesota, I have um, three, one, two, three, yes. So the last state on my list is California. And I want folks to be familiar with iBank. This iBank is a California government operated entity. And they actually help to be, um, to help with the loan situation. So you can see that I pull up the loan guarantee program. So the loan guarantee program designed to assist small business that experiencing capital access barriers. That barrier could be the owner had a bankruptcy record, but now has a really good business opportunities. And then this will be a place where you look for loan guarantee program. Basically this loan guarantee will guarantee the bank loan to you. So the bank not gonna hesitate to loan you money because if you don't pay the bank back and the you know, there's some program to pay the bank back so they don't lose their money. And that is number one, when we talk about fundings, here you go, this is the funding. Then we also have this COVID related funding that is so much in Los Angeles. And I'm, I, I know that I pull up at least two slides that related to Los Angeles because they are really trying very hard to make the city accessible, make the business uh, survivable, right? And this one, um, El Frisco, LA El Frisco. And this is more of outdoor dining license kind of help. So you say you have a restaurant and always never really had outdoor dining, but now you want to leave the table out so people can eat outside and the, with the COVID situation. This is where Los Angeles, city of Los Angeles are here to, to help you, to get that for you. And you also have this LA optimized, helping small businesses to confront COVID. What happened is when you have a business, uh, you, you, you could run it, uh, you could run the old way, broken mortar, but uh, COVID hit, you have to go online. And in that case, there is LA optimized program, they help you. So if you are a restaurant, just because you don't have, just because you don't have a computerized capability, so you can't make any sales, you need an online ordering system and things like that. This is the program that would help you. So look into that. You know, I know I pull up LA and for example, um, I mean, you know, there's so many cities in California, right? So you want to log into your city website to really explore whether they have anything like that happening as well, just because their internet wasn't advanced enough that to push out their news so people who cannot search them or search them effectively. And in that case, we won't be able to really find it unless we go to each city, right? But if you live in the city that you felt that may be the case and just go onto the city website and really look for it. That's really the way to look for help. Then here, there is another one. It is also, uh, it is also belongs to um, um, Los Angeles and it is a small business legal source for COVID questions. So this is the one that, um, you know, you can tap into and to make sure that, um, 
I'm just kind of looking to see why I have this one. Um, yeah, this is a free legal resources, okay? To address question caused by COVID-19, small business, when you, um, you know, when you seek legal uh, counsels for legal issues that, that might be COVID related. For example, if you get sued uh, by, um, by an employee and uh, for, you know, catching COVID at work. I'm just giving a silly example. I don't have any clients said that, but I'm just making it up. Then you actually can go for that kind of legal assistance. And the business owners who who, uh, whose current household income is less than 8,500 per month, or who has less than 50,000, and then you are qualified for this free help. So make sure that um, you know what, uh, you know, this resource is for you. Really, and at this point, we are kind of at the place where um, all of the, uh, all of the internet resources that we could gather is all under your fingertips. And we gone through Iowa, which we had uh, four opportunities, right? Iowa, four opportunities. And this is the one from uh, IEDA. And then for city of Des Moines, we had a three. And the one is ladder up and outdoor sitting and delivery, right? And for Minnesota, we have this Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation and with all of these grants that are in front of you. And then we also have this investor website that has all this information for us to know who is willing to pitch in for a business venture. Then last but not the least is the Emergent Entrepreneur Loan Program that the state has in Minnesota. And in California, and we found this loan guaranteed program. Actually, California just finished a COVID grant, and I hope that all of you have applied. They went through six rounds, and yesterday was the last day, so I didn't have that on here. But if you applied already, but they are still requesting your information, then you are in, you are in the queue. So you should be getting back to them, make sure you answer all the questions and a very good chance to get a part of, get a piece of that pot of money. That's a $417 million. So um, I uh, I was told it's $25,000 uh, to the applicants. So make sure if you didn't apply, you're late already. But if you did apply, make sure you follow up, right? And then the other ones are more LA, uh, Los Angeles related. Um, uh, things and this is uh, the this is open door outside dining, um, uh, al fresco al fresco is outside dining, and this one is called um, LA optimized. This is helping business to pivot over to um, to online or whatever you need to do because of COVID, and they help. And then of course small business legal resources for free. And this is what we, we what we discovered for California. And least, but not, not last, but not the least. And it is the, um, it is our webinar. And when we talk online, it is also showing up on our YouTube. And make sure, make sure, and you come to YouTube to study uh, what we have here. I, the other day I got a, I got a um, potential client I actually don't know whether he become a client or not. Um, he called and I said that I didn't sleep for the last 24 hours. And I, you know, I wonder why he would tell me that. Then he goes, because I was watching all your webinars and I think I got everything I can do, but I still have questions. So that's how, kind of how people find that to be, uh, to be fun, to be, uh, knowledge, to be a knowledge hub. So you can learn what we are doing for the rest of our clients. So make sure you come on to our YouTube. And today's um, talk ends right here. And I apologize for that little glitches in the middle, but I hope you have a great weekend. Don't forget your mom. Who doesn't have a mother, right? So make sure you do something special, whether it's in heaven or in, on earth, and you should do something special for them. I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.